Day two, got the calipers running real quiet. I can see space in the brakes. Brakes are running well. Got the bag on. I do think some settings could be adjusted in the computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the computer. Real quick before we get to the computer, I did get this bag from ActBest and there were some questions about how to install this properly. There were some hooks that I removed and put inside the bags because they were just getting in the way. Use these straps to attach it. Um, I'm going to move it forward one there and I think that'll work a lot better but the hooks didn't really fit properly and were scratching up the bike if I tried too hard to get those on there. All right, let's talk about the computer. I've been researching and compiling as much information as I can. I figured out how to get into the admin. I will post the details below. With some slight adjustments, I was able to get this going to about 33, maybe 34 miles an hour on a flat road. I'm not sure that these tires are suited to go much faster than that. That being said, I can show you how to tweak some settings and which settings to tweak so that you can get the most out of your bike without cutting wires or using magnets or things like that. I will also give you a heads up on what not to change and things to be careful with. Before we get to the advanced settings, let's go over the basic settings. The eye will change the view. Odometer and tripometer. I'm not sure how to reset the tripometer. You can also see average speed and max speed. When I hold down the negative button with the foot, the bike starts to move. For the advanced settings, you want to hold the plus and minus button. Then using the plus and minus, enter the code. In this case, 3288. Once you're in the admin settings, P1 is your ability to change the distance from miles per hour to kilometers an hour. This is both for your speedometer and for odometer and tripometer. P2 is the voltage for the battery, so you want to make sure this matches the voltage of your battery. P3 is the configuration for the pedal assist. It comes default zero through five modes, um, but you can change that all the way up to one through nine. And then you also have the ability to change how much power each mode has. P4 is the wheel diameter setting. I played around a little bit with this because some people suggest it will make your bike run faster if you lower the tire size, um, but I found that putting it as close to the right tire size is best not just for speed but for accuracy in your speedometer and distance readings. P5 I believe is the top speed adjustment that ranges all the way from 0 to 63. I am not 100% sure, but I will say when I've adjusted that, it seems to adjust my speed. P6, I'm not exactly sure what it is used for. So I kept it at 63. P7, I believe, is the low voltage cutoff. So I didn't really mess with that. I believe P8 is the forward or reverse assist. 
as well as the assist sensitivity. Now I haven't messed with this one. P9, I believe, is the push function and the throttle level. But again, I haven't done anything with these. And finally, PA, which I think allows you to set a password for the computer. And P6, which may or may not be the auto sleep time, I'm not sure.